My name is Amin Abdullahi, and I'm a sophomore at Burke High School. <laughs> and my poem is called Dear Terrence. Dear Terrence, I'm tired of people hearing Islam and assuming terrorism, Muslim and assuming terrorist, a Muslim and assuming sexist, hijab and assuming oppressed. Overall, I'm tired of feeling guilty on 9-11. Every year I dread this day, wanting to disappear during history. Two to three pairs of eyes shooting laser beams through my hijab. A shield I use to protect myself from their judgments and questions. As if people didn't stare at me enough with every move I made every day. Expressions mixed with resentment dancing all over their faces. Your people did this. Disgust simmering from below their skin, ready to explode because they think I am proud of the actions of a few individuals who've lost their way but still claim to be a Muslim. My head spinning with all the 9-11 pictures flying up on the smart board, jumpers frozen in time, the last seconds of their lives captured forever. The voice of the teacher fading to a distant time period, 30 pairs of eyes 30 pairs of accusing eyes condemning me to a person I'm not. The anger, misunderstandings, and helplessness boils up my blood like a volcano ready to explode, representing 15 billion Muslim voices around the world. I yell, Muslims are not terrorists, and terrorists are not Muslims. But the world doesn't listen. All they hear is what's on the media and, doubt, and don't doubt it. All they see is on the media and believe. All they say is what's said on the media and believe. The world is mostly blind to all the rest of the Muslims in the world, but still sum us up as terrorists. Islam can be judged based on a murderer who has fallen so far from the glorious tree of Islam that they became shelter for the insects and, and food for the decomposers. Islamophobes created Islamophobia and terrorists enforced it. Both motivated by hatred and ignorance while trying to spread their, their distorted ide ideologies at fear's knife point. How can, I practice when my, how can I practice my religion when major parts of my identity as a Muslim was effaced? Who do you think you are? You snatched 15 billion of our religion and you call yourself one of us. You stomped all over our religion, not caring how your brothers and sisters would be treated around the world. And you call yourself one of us. Little Muslim kids can't even play around, can't even play and fly around paper airplanes because the world can't imagine how innocent the act is, but instead think of it as terrorist training. All the world has done is perceived and believed. Surviving in this kind of world every day is an achievement for us because there are innumerable hate crimes targeted against us and you acts upon them claims to be one of us. You've robbed many innocent lives. 9-11-2001, nearly 3,000 people died. Two planes swooping down like eagles who spotted their prey. With the first encounter, the world stood still. History repeating, Boston Marathon, news headline, two bombs, three dead people, 264 injured. Runners went from competing in a marathon to limping in amputations for the rest of their lives. And you call yourself a Muslim. History repeating, Charlie Edbo, news headline, comic newspaper shooting, 12 dead. You've added to the rivers of tears of all the injustice that happened in this world. Muslims are prohibited to take their own lives, let alone take others. How many Islam told you to kill? Zero.